For the dumbbell clean, you can do a dumbbell muscle clean, dumbbell power clean, and dumbbell full clean. Um, you can also take it from between your legs or on the sides of your legs. On the sides of your legs, it's awesome to be able to do. It's kind of hard to navigate that uh, well, just because of the nature of the dumbbells want to push in, the whole gravity thing, uh, where you are, and body mechanics, seeing if you can touch the ground without uh, rounding out your back or getting into a compromised position. So I'm going to show you from between the legs as well as from the outside of the legs. And the idea is I'm just using my hips and legs to get momentum on these guys, then move them as close to the body to then get them up to the shoulders. Um, so yeah, here's what we got. From between the legs, a dumbbell muscle clean. It's going to look like this, up to the shoulders. It's quite a bit of pull from the arms. Let's see what it looks like with a power clean. Touch the ground end up in this power position where your legs are slightly bent. Then a dumbbell full clean is going to be here, down in the bottom of the squat. Now if I want to do that with uh, on the outside of the legs, it's going to look like this. Here we go. Uh, that was a power clean. That was hard. Let's show you a muscle clean. It's too much arms in this one. Here we go. Muscle clean. Up. And then a full clean looks like this. Ugh. But you'll notice that when I do those, a, it makes me really tired, but B, <laughs> on the outside there, it gets pretty difficult to navigate the legs. So that's why you can kind of do both. Whatever you can keep the best position in the bottom with. We're not really in any competitions here, so I would stick with whatever allows you to move the safest and most efficiently. That is our dumbbell clean and its variations.